Welcome back, everybody. Matt with some RDR2 with you. Hopefully everyone's having a wonderful Monday. We are going to uh, get recording. We're going to go ahead and do another satchel. Look like it wasn't too terribly hard, I don't think, the animals we had to get. Hopefully it doesn't end up like the squirrel in that last one. That took me about 17 years to get, but we'll see. Oh, cool. We're in our normal sleeping spot again. Arthur sure does like it here. And there is our beautiful Miss Sea Triscuit. If you do hear, like, rain in the background, it is pouring out where I am. When are we hunting another bear? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not for a while. Oh, come on. Might be for the best. I had fun. So, yep, uh, I was uh, going to hop on the horse and just get to it, but I forgot. I don't even know what we need to get. So let's go uh, talk to Pearson. Everybody, leave me alone. I'm on a mission. We're going to start doing some chatting with you all here in the future, but right now we're satchel working. Now I mentioned we're going to do some challenges. We are at some point, and here soon. I just figured, let's uh, see what we can get. This camp could do with a few improvements. Yeah, yeah, Why don't I'm sure. Look at my ideas? Okay, so we have to donate three valuables to the tithing box, so we know that. We also need a perfect deer, perfect elk, and a perfect panther. Okay, so that's not too bad. Let's see if I can remember that, but all right. Perfect deer, perfect elk. We're going to start with those, since those are the easiest. And Jose is just chatting away this morning. <laughs> You're not as dumb as you act, John Marston. Uh, maybe not. I don't understand. Be a man, John. It would suit you. Okay, just trying to listen a little bit of that convo there between our buddies Hosea and Mr. Marston. Mr. Matthews and Mr. Marston, I should say. So let's see here. It is Hosea Matthews. Just going to use the last name on one, might as well use for the other, right? Okay, so we're going to head out to uh, our little favorite deer spot. So I'm going to be out there, and uh, we will catch right back up with you. You know what? I'm just going to ride it. Maybe get us a, uh, I was going to pop in Waypoint, but might get us a random encounter. So I'm going to work my way out there. It's not too far. Uh, so if anything does pop up, I will bring you in at that moment. If it doesn't, well, we will see you there when we're ready to hunt some deer. No, that's ours. There, girl. Okay, then. We did accidentally run that over, so might as well pick it up and get our uh, compendium updated. Yep. It's got us a California quail. Anyway, back to it. Yeah, you're all right, girl. Need some help, bud? Oh, God. Shit. Easy. You hear everybody's reaction. Wow. Um, okay. <laughs> Don't really want to loot him because, uh, I think that might hurt our honor. But we can drop a Cattleman Revolver for a worn Volcanic Pistol. Well, we've already got a Volcanic Pistol. If you do drop them and pick up the other one, uh, you do keep your old weapon, too. Just worth noting. But I'm not going to worry about it because it's all worn out. So, uh, uh, or I will anyway. Didn't mean to, but okay. Okay, let's go to this other side. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, let's loot him. Why not? Let's see if he's got anything on him. I do like to loot the random encounters generally because they might have letters or something like them, like that on them. Oh, and we got a horse reviver. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Remember, we ran across that dead body. Yep, and we got the honor hit. But we ran across that dead body in the northeast corner of the map. And when we did, we got a letter out of him. So, yeah. Anyway, I uh, will see y'all in just a second. Okay, we're on one. Y'all see it, so let's go ahead and just catch up with her. She is perfect. There we go. Uh, maybe there we go. Yeah, okay. This whole not being able to get off a horse thing is frustrating. <laughs> okay. Oh, well. Well, uh, I'm not even going to worry about chasing her down. She's a ways away now, so... Uh, yeah, I'll get back to you in a minute. <laughs> Maybe need to try to do a long-range shot and not actually uh, lasso one, but I don't know why I'm doing that so much lately. I don't know if it's because I made that switch over to the Xbox controller and I'm just maybe not accustomed to it or what, but oh well. 
Well, we're already in the good hunting ground, so if we can see if this is a perfect one right here. Let's go ahead and get that scope out, then we'll go ahead and take her. Nope, she's not. But we know they're going to be everywhere throughout here. There is a pronghorn right here, though. Is it perfect? Nope. Okay, no problem. Got another deer. I think that was that buck that was maybe running from us. Yep. So we'll just keep looking. We'll find that uh, perfect white-tailed deer here in a second. There we go. Okay, no or we won't. <laughs> Some more way out there. It's kind of like short and stubby. They might be pronghorn. Let's check it out and see. Nope, they're deer. And we got perfect. So let's take our time, get the shot right. There we go. All right, good. Nope, we didn't get a clean hit on her. Oh man. Well, let's go uh, take her down anyway. You can see she is shown as a white paw on the map, meaning she's still alive. Whoa, <laughs> okay, again, the getting off a horse. Oh, it did stay perfect. Good. Let's go ahead and skin her, and we've got the perfect deer out of the way. Now we need the perfect elk and then the perfect panther. So I'm going to get her skin put on the back of the horse, and then I'm going to get to an elk area, and we'll be back with you here shortly. Alright, welcome back. We are in an area where we have gotten elk before. We had we had to get one other perfect one uh, for one of the other satchels. And this is where we came. So, normally they spawn in pretty regularly over here. And we see that already. We got a two-star. That's a moose. Again, we see those popping in regularly up here now, too. That's pretty cool. See if there's any elk over by the water edge, because there normally is. There's, uh, yep, that one is a one star. Man, his antler's looking rough, isn't it? Let's see about this one right here. Nope, oh, she's a two star. Let's study her real quick. Western moose, okay. So, uh, no luck on that one, but like normal, we're just going to uh, pop out of the area and then head back in. And then we should have some new ones here. This is probably one of the same ones, right? Uh, don't get hit by the train. So, yeah, I'll head down here. We'll come back in a minute when we are on our three-star. See, we got a three star and also a black bear. Yep. It's taken off. All right, let's see if we can get him. Get him, get him, get him. All right, there we go. Okay, so that's good. We got the three star out the way. Let's go ahead and skin him. It showed, uh, entered legendary animal territory, and that's the moose up here. I know we already got it, so I must have, uh, not saved it on this particular game, so I'll go back and catch us up on that one sometime here soon, but... Try to get a little bit better view there. It's kind of gross, isn't it? Okay, so, got the perfect deer, and actually that perfect elf, that took me, like, maybe four minutes. It just took me a couple times, uh, heading down the railroad tracks and coming back in, and we got him. And as you saw, it also spawned in a black bear, and... Had Missy Trisket freaking out, but that's normal. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's get back to camp because we've got that big, huge pelt of the elk on us. So, I'm going to ride down there and we will see you here in just a second. All right, girl. Okay, welcome back. So, we're at camp. I just want to go ahead and turn these into Pearson. And then we're going to go after that perfect panther. Hey, who's there? It's me. Just me. There you go. Glad to see you back in one piece. <laughs> Didn't know we were expecting otherwise. Thanks for the confidence there, Hosea. 
So what we're going to do is let's go ahead and hitch up our horse. Go turn these into Pearson. And then I'm also going to sleep. Just get us to morning to where it's fresh. Uh, the panther, it kind of, you're more consistent at night. But you'll see it pop in also during the day. So I just want to start fresh and all of us health up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we'll be back with you in just a second. I'll show you where we're going to get the panther. Because it is in very one specific location. And we'll go from there. See you in a sec. Oh, I just did that. I didn't mean to. I was trying to sleep, but y'all did see that real quick. We just picked up a zoological compendium, which is pretty cool because you can come in here and we can read it and we can see different things. And this kind of gives you ideas of where you can look like to find the badger or the skunk and what to you. So at any rate, just kind of cool. You'll have some things like that on occasion on your desk. Let's see what we have here because this may be another one. Let's go into first person view so we can get to it. Rambles through woods and plains. I think this like gives us some uh, herbs and spices details. Yep, see, a field guide to botanical kingdom. So we can just take that and that'll be ours. So, yeah, at any rate, just kind of cool. So now I'm going to sleep and then we'll see out there where we get the panther. Okay, everybody. We are back, so I have gotten this uh, very near the area. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up on the map for you so you see. Okay, now this is uh, where you're going to find the panther, or it may actually be one over. Yeah, I think I'm in the wrong spot. Uh, we'll find out here quickly, but I, actually, we'll see. I'll recognize when we get there. Let's put it that way. I'm pretty sure it is actually where I'm at. This is the only spot in the game where you can find the panther, by the way. So if you see again, we are down uh, southeast corner of the map south of Rhodes, and this is not an animal you will find anywhere else at all. Another reason why I slept till morning is it's kind of a creepy one. This is probably the deadliest in the game. The cougar is pretty deadly too, but it's really hard to survive getting attacked by one of these, a, uh, a panther. So we're going to switch to our poison arrow because that is going to be our ideal weapon. Go ahead and take that out for me, Arthur. Thank you. And uh, we're going to get over here to it. So we are sitting at 6.40 in the morning. Again, uh, may or may not see it. It is actually over to that other side where we get the panther. So let me show you that real quick. It's going to be over here. But that's okay. We uh, A lot of times what I'll do is I'll set up a camp somewhere around in this area. Just to uh, have a spot where we can go sleep real quick. Because this does not spawn in every time. That's just the reality. So let's start working our way over. And they will creep you out. There's no doubt. Got, uh, what's going on here? What's going on? Oh, goodness. I didn't want to come across anything like this. I just want to get a panther. Okay, really? But who are you? Okay, I just want to get on with my day. Ow. Okay, so we're on with our day. We aren't bothering you, man. We just we just want to get where we're going. That's one thing. This is uh, not an area we've been through. Ooh, cool. Level three. That's a big deal with our horse. But this is not an area we've been in, so that's when you'll start seeing stuff pop up like that when you disco discover new parts of the map. So, okay. Um, I regularly see the Panthers in my last playthrough. We're going to find out if it's different being the PC, but... Right where I'm looking, and sometimes even out on this road. Now, horsey poo, excuse me, sea trisket. I keep uh, screwing that up, don't I? Um, she's going to freak, obviously, and we should be freaking when we see this. So uh, we're going to just hitch her over here, and we're going to go on foot. And hopefully we can do this relatively quickly, but we may have to sleep till night. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put myself in stealth, and we're just going to kind of ease up here. See if we can sneak up on it. And if we don't on this first try, then uh, we'll do the usual. I'll start looking for it, and I'll bring y'all back in when we're at it. But let's see. Now, here's what's tough during the day. I mean, and even at night, you see how thickly wooded this all is? Mm. And uh, I've, I've gone through here on horseback and found the panther. No problem. I mean, you'll find it. The issue is, is sea trisket just immediately bucks you off. you got nothing you can do. And uh, you've got a really good chance of not making it out. So we're just going to kind of ease up through our eagle eye. 
We did get that new eagle eye trinket from the legendary fox that keeps it on for another five seconds, so that's cool. And there we go. Uh, uh, let's just go ahead and do it. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. Well, that was easy enough, but hopefully it's a three-star. It looks a little mangy, and I don't know if we shot it in a great spot. But let's find out. Kill the big cat. And let's go ahead and skin the big cat. So this is our panther. Hopefully it is just that easy. Because, <laughs> uh, honestly, y'all saw it. There's no... I popped down here. I didn't, like, go through and hunt for 30 minutes, and now we just got to... Literally, this is first try, so... We'll see. Fingers crossed. Hopefully it is perfect. Nah, it's good. Okay, well, that's all right. So we're going to have to keep doing that. Um, it will generally only spawn in like once a day. So that's why I sort of set up camp. It's not only because sometimes it doesn't spawn in, but it's kind of rare to see it pop in as a three-star. And you saw where we got it, right in that area. So we're in the right spot. But... Because of that, we're going to have to uh, sleep it off a little bit and come back. Probably, we'll just try coming back tonight, actually, and see if it works. Now, I'm yep. curious to see where it's going to let me camp. Because we had that wagon up here where that guy was. And that's a lot of times where I camp. Because it keeps you there normally. So, I'm going to go ahead and set up camp, sleep till the evening, and we will see y'all in the morning, or excuse me, at night, looking for uh, some more panthers. Okay, so here we are. We are back at night. You know, I'm actually going to keep the camp set up. And it did put us right where we were, so that's a cool thing. That's why I like to set up this spot here, because it, yeah, as you've noticed, sometimes you go to camp, but it puts you a decent distance away. It's this, we're right back where we started. So I did just notice something over here. <laughs> See that? There's a boat in the tree. Don't want to know what kind of storm that was. I wonder if we can check this out as a point of interest. We might be able to. Let's see. There we go. Can we, can we, can we? Is it something that Arthur will draw in a journal for? Not looking like it's triggering. Is there anything we can search here? No, but we can pick up, I think that's uh, some fine brandy. Or aged pirate mum. Ooh, that's good stuff. We'll explain another time. Well, there you go. See, it says use aged pirate rum. It will increase your stamina XP. So just like the uh, Ginseng el Elixir does it for our health, that one does it for our stamina. So, that's cool. So anyway, we'll get back to it. Go see if we can find us our panther. But now it gets really creepy because it's hard to see. Now once we light up with Eagle Eye, it might help. Now that is presuming okay. it pops in. Since uh, we're still in the same day where we got the first one, I don't know that it will. So I'm going to go find out. And if it doesn't, well, you'll see us back here in the morning. See you in a second. I don't trust this. over this again <laughs> oh, oh god i'm sorry take her home huh would you like a ride home ma'am oh thank you you're a good man okay well Did you see this is happening Sandinine? good lord I, I know yeah no it is i was here where i wanted to be i had actually hitched up my horse you saw me do that and i was actually down the wrong good. spot so i was just coming up here to get to that other tree we were on and that happened you know what? I wonder. We're just going to try something. Let's see if it pops in anyway. Again, I'm not expecting it to. <laughs> but if we can go ahead and get that while she's with us, that'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Looks like we got a... I don't know if that's a squirrel or what. Deer. Yeah. Oh. Why are you riding like this? 
I'm looking for something. It might kill us, but just hang on tight. Not seeing anything yet, and you would just kind of stumble across it, but it would be right in this area. We'll kind of check just over this little hill crest, just to see. And we got nothing, but you can see it would light up a heck of a lot easier at night. Let's make sure those are deer, and they all are. What's that behind? Some turkeys. Okay, cool. So at any rate, yep, I'm going to go drop her off, and we'll... Doing? See you on a minute. Get, shut up. Kill your horse too? Okay. You're a real angel, you know. <laughs> okay. Men gone by not long before you did and just we can see how this is gonna go. Going. She's just yeah. gonna keep talking and keep that talking and keep surprised. talking. So we'll you see you in a minute. Do now without my Moses. Sorry, I'm talking too much. You are. I'm still too shuck up. Well, that's all right, ma'am. You're safe now. Okay, we're back. So uh, yeah, she wouldn't shut up. And it did end up taking away my campsite, too. So, there's that. And also, word to the wise, um, I was getting tired of it, and getting tired of it, and she had to go to the opposite side of San Denis from where we were. So I just said, you know what, screw it, let's throw down a waypoint and see what happens. If you teleport, uh, she, go with, she goes with you. But then she immediately jumps off the horse and freaks out, and so, okay, whatever. We screwed up that random encounter, probably, but there's plenty more opportunities for those. So, I'm going to go back up here, see if we can get the panther again, uh, and I'll see you in a second if we do. Okay, well, the cooker didn't pop in, or excuse me, the panther didn't pop in, but we got a little campsite over here. I figure we'll check this out and see what's going on. Always want to be a little wary. I'll keep moving if I was you. Hey, all right. I'm looking you. for trouble here. Get the hell out of hey, here. calm down. Maybe you can help us. It ain't like this is going well. Really? Ah, shit. Nothing to lose, I suppose. Come on. The truth is, mister, our last batch of shine didn't turn out so good. You think you can help us with locating some ingredients? We could reward you for your troubles. Yeah. Sure, why, why not? not? You know, wild tobacco might give us the rich, earthy flavor we are looking for. I think we've already really? got some. Well, I have that on me. Oh, we do. <laughs> Go on, lazy bones. Toss the plants into the batch so we lazy can bones? test it out. Lazy bones? What are you talking crap to me for? Okay, where do I go for this? I don't need to loot them. That probably wouldn't turn out well. Place them in the hatch on the side of the still. I'm working on it. Add tobacco plants. Okay. Apparently that's hot. <laughs> All right. All right. What now? I'm gonna give this a taste. I'm glad it works that fast. What's the verdict? Come on already. Mmm. Well, ain't so tasty. <laughs> but dang if I don't get a prickly feeling. Real sharp. Okay. Well, that sounds kinda interesting. Why don't we rest up a spell and then whip up another batch later on? We got a rare victual in that chest there. Take it. I'd say you earned it. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Why not? What is this rare victual? Age pirate room. Heck yeah, we'll take it. And some moonshine. We're just going to help ourselves to everything. Okay. Well, thank you all gentlemen. I guess we'll probably run into you again. I'll see you two around, I'm sure. Goodbye. That's that then. Yeah? Okay. Why well, was that a question? Okay, so, yeah, I figure that uh, being so near, that may have been interfering with our panther hunting, so we'll find out in a second. That's not something right there, is it? No, just coyote. Okay, so, yep, I'm going to find it. Y'all know the ritual. Hopefully this one doesn't take forever, and uh, we'll be back with you as soon as we have it. Let's try this again. Oh, crap, we got one. Oh, God. Oh, God, get it off me, get off me. Oh, God. Oh, God. See what I'm talking about? That's why they're the, probably the creepiest ones there are. They all are just going to have to wait, people. I got something else going on here. Oh, God. 
scare the crap out of me. Let's go and kill it. Don't want to suffer. Skin it. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. No, I'm not going to help. I got something going on. I mean, we want to help, but sorry, we got something else. <laughs> Come on. I'm trying to call Citrus. Get, can't do it right in the middle of skinning, I guess. Be perfect, be perfect, be perfect. Sweet. Okay. So, we did that. Let's go ahead and put this on the back of the horse, and we'll go see if we can rescue that woman, whatever's going on, because that's not normal. Uh, it popped off the map. A little white dot went away, so we probably lost it. Uh, probably for the better, because we were probably going to get into a firefight. There's our hat, but I'm not worried about it, because we can always just pick it up here. Um, but we, we need to eat, because we are not doing so hot. Let's do some canned corned beef. Okay. Cool, so y'all saw it. We, it is. Uh, you saw it. We ended up getting our, uh, getting our perfect panther, so we are ready to uh, go craft the next satchel. Again, we have to donate three items to camp. So we may actually uh, have to get some of those by looting some people. So we may try to find a gang. Oh, Idiot. crap. There we go. I'm just going to come over here and tear down my camp. Because if we get all the way on the other side of the map and we try to set up camp, it's going to say, Oh, you can't. You've already got one set up somewhere. So we just want to get that taken care of. We've eaten. We about got killed. And that's why the panther is the scariest one in the game. You've got to be so quick. What I was doing there is tapping the uh, either circle or B, depending on which controller you use, um, as soon as it, it was jumping at me. And that's how you fend it off. If you don't do that fast enough, you're dead every time. And you saw it was going to come right back for us if we weren't careful. Cougars are a little bit faster to come back after you because they're very similar, but... The reaction time on the panther is just normally a little bit less from what I've seen. And the pelts on those look really cool. You can kind of see it kind of spotted. Pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, uh, we did that. I'm going to head back to uh, camp, get this turned into Pearson, and we will see you there. Well, you're in luck, buddy. As I was heading back, I forgot about that place. And again, I don't okay. think we've donated three items yet, so we're going to need to get some. So why not do it here? We got a gang. Uh, let's go ahead and eat us some... You know what? We got some cooked venison we haven't even taken advantage of, have we? So um, let's go ahead and get us one of those. We got a boar just rumbling in here. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Uh, Kind of sneak up. We might as well, again, we're going to have to donate three items, not just money, three items to the uh, to the camp. So that's why we're going to go ahead and do this. Take out these bad boys. See what we can get off of them. We'll kind of be sneaky. I mean, pretty much we're going to get one shot off, and they're all going to know who we are and where we are. But let's see if we can get a little bit closer and get some cover. All right, there we go. That's uh, decent enough. Get trenched in, fellas. You defend your property as long as you're standing. Well, where are y'all? Move up on me, I dare you. I you what. Come on. I'm waiting for you. Got one more of you, huh? Let's see you. Show your face, sir. Okay, well that was successful. Well, they are senseless idiots, but that was all us, let's be honest. We snuck up on their place, so. Lemoyne Raiders. So let's see what we can get items-wise that we can donate. Ooh, we got him right through that eye, ah, didn't we? Gross. Okay. Platinum Band. Man, that's a really good one. I don't necessarily want to give that away. Yeah, I think they're a decent amount of money, but whatever. Let's see, what else are we getting? Silver Emblem Ring. Those we'll certainly give away, because they're a dime a dozen. Go back over here, another platinum band. Cool. See what this guy's got. Then we got one more to loot. And then we're going to be able to call this good. But while we're here, we're going to go ahead and get us a point of interest. Because this is a point of interest. This old church. So there's some stuff in here. i got to remember exactly where everything is. But let's go ahead and first you see we can inspect the structure by holding down Y. Triangle on the PlayStation. See what we got. Probably like old abandoned church, I think. Um, see if we can read it. Horseshoe Overlook. Saw an old church. Found it interesting. Not sure why. Okay, cool. It says Horseshoe Overlook because that's a chapter we're in. That's all. Okay, so good for us. 
Um, I'm trying to remember because, yep, there's a loot box. Let's see what's in it. Or a lock box. But same thing. Let's see what we got. Ooh, large jewelry bag. I think those are 50 bucks, maybe 75, so that's good. And uh, can't take the crucifix or whatever that other thing is, so no biggie. But there's some more stuff we can gather if we head up. Show you all that real quick. Let's see, always do eagle eye just in case to make sure there's nothing you miss. But we're good. So let's get on up here because we got some more stuff we can take. I think some uh, more age pirate room, so that's awesome. We could use that. Looks like some ammunition of some sort. Gun oil, we'll take that for sure. Maybe. There we go. And we can take the regular cartridges too. I don't think we can get that. That's an old and drunken. And then there's one thing you would miss if you, because uh, I know I sure did in the first playthrough, but then when I was chasing down uh, cigarette cards, I kept hearing there was one up here. There we go. Oh, don't fall. So we've got first off premium cigarettes. Can't take those. Don't care. We can take the cigarette card. So all this, of course, the point of interest, also the cigarette card. It'll be in the link in the descriptions like normal. So let's go ahead and put that away. We've got the premium cigarettes. Um, those are actually good because you'll get a cigarette card out of those every time you get the premium. I haven't even gone over that. So because that's the case, we're going to go ahead and open up our satchel. Smoke us a quick premium cigarette. That's just a regular. That won't do us any good. We're full up. That's why we can't take it, you see. So, cool. Now, also, we can either use one or we can discard them. I'm just going to discard them all. You still keep the cigarette cards out of it. But, now we can go ahead and take these now. So, that's cool. See, we got a card out of it. Then, also, we can take this point curse. This point curse. Yeah, the point curse. We got the point curse. <laughs> so, we got the coin purse. And we're good. So, yeah, if you come here... Don't make, uh, make sure you don't miss this little spot in the bird's nest. So let's jump on over. Okay, that was a little bit close. Mm. All right, good. You could have fallen from that distance and not been too bad, but no reason not to if we can avoid it. So I am now going to jump back on Miss C. Trisket. I'm also going to save real quick since we've got uh, quite a lot going on this episode, and I haven't done that in a while. For all I know, power could be shutting down here soon. Thank goodness I do have a uh, backup power supply. I'm working on a universal power supply. So, that's pretty cool. Gives me a couple minutes to shut everything down cleanly if we need to, but let's go ahead and save it. And then uh, when it's done doing that, you will see me back in camp donating all of this to uh, Pearson in the camp so we can get our satchel. So, see you in just a second. Hope you had a good old time while I've been stuck standing here. You seem to be walking around the camp just fine, I believe. And yeah, I have had a heck of an old time. Oh, you just stay in your pissy mood there, Bill. <laughs> okay, cool. So, let's go ahead and get over here. Wow, Pearson hard at work. Steak, Give me a chance, will you? <laughs> I'll have a steak, Pearson. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Let's go ahead and donate. Bring me something soon if you can, Arthur. I'm working right, on it right now. Pearson. So, good panther pelt. Good job, Arthur. Perfect panther pelt. Good job, good Mr. Morning, Morgan. Arthur. Actually, we've got some elk antlers, too. We'll Let's go ahead and give them those. Why is John staring me down so ominously right now? And everybody... Okay, we see you. Okay. 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 <laughs> this is kind of making me feel weird. I'm doing fine. So, let's see. We need to donate three valuables to the tithing box. Now we've got the materials. We're good. I'll just come over here contribute. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning, Dutch. So we want to give an item. Oh, not money. Item. There we go. Uh, no, they're not getting $50 from us. Yep, they will get a silver emblem ring. The rest of this we want to hang on to because, again, we might be able to use it in our crafting. So we'll give them both of the uh, platinum bands. They're only 7 bucks a piece, so that's not bad. Cool. And we got some honor out of it, so kind of help us from taking that hit from looting the guy early in the episode. So... Now we've done that. John is still just stuck there, so I don't know what's going on with him. Arthur. Hello, gentlemen. Okay, so he's just going to stay there. I can always make you a new statue if you're on space. There you go. That's what we're doing. Perfect. All right, cool. So 
Next one is going to be perfect. Deer, bison, and raccoon. That one shouldn't be too bad either. I'm just kind of getting a lay of the land of what we need. Deer, boar, iguana. So as you see, we need plenty of deer. That's always going to be the case. Deer, beaver, rabbit. And then, uh, cool. All right, so we are going to go ahead and say that was a fun episode. Call it quits. And then we will be back out with another episode, uh, hopefully tomorrow. Um, uh, again, I'm still shooting to do the two videos a day. That's my goal, an LSPDFR and a Red Dead Redemption 2. But I also might be getting into another game here soon. Uh, but doing so requires me to basically back off my recording to one a day. So if that's the case, uh, I may. We'll figure that out. But uh, at any rate, enjoyed Mr. it. Morgan. Thank you all for coming along. What? Mr. What? what? I just want to thank you. For saving my life. You're welcome. Now don't drink. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, there's just too much action going on. So, yeah, uh, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you enjoy the video. And y'all have a wonderful evening, and we will see y'all again on our next video. Have a good one. Bye.